All right, so in the previous video, we learned the strict typing in TypeScript. And we mentioned that there are two types of strict typing in TypeScript, type inference and type annotation. We started with type inference. And we saw how type inference works with string, boolean, and numbers. Okay, in this video, we are going to see how does type inference work with non primitive types which are object and arrays the rule of thumb though remains the same once you declare a variable to be a specific type okay you can't assign the data belonging to any other type for example you say age is equal to 10 right so in future you can only assign numeric values to the variable age and same is applied for string booleans and for that matter arrays and objects as well okay so let's start so we're going to start with array first all right and in this category there are two type of arrays the first array is a collection of single data types like this okay so in fruits you see apple and banana all right then in numbers you see one two and three this list belong to string and therefore when you hover over this fruits what do you see array of strings and you hover over this you see array of numbers now the second category is collection of multiple data types when you can have mixed data types in the same collection for example in here you see string and number you can also add boolean and so on all right so let's start with the first category and we have further categorized it into what is allowed and what is not allowed okay and because of of course type inference so what is allowed in here we start with fruits okay so basically there are two operations right so you can either add a new value or you can update the value right and these ways only you can you can challenge the inference rule all right that's why i said there are two operations so we start with we say fruits and we use push and by the way arrays and objects okay behave exactly the same in typescript like they behave in javascript there is no difference okay so we can push what in fruits since this is a string collection so you can only pass in the strings all right so you can say mango allowed okay what is not allowed so you can't let's copy this you can't push any other data type value for example number 10 not allowed you immediately see this error so argument of type number is not assignable to parameter of type string if you add the value boolean in here all right the story will remain the same not allowed argument of type boolean is not assignable to parameter of type string okay this is not allowed then it's the update operation all right so how can i update i say fruits and i would like to update the value at index 0 which is apple all right so i can change it to a string value okay like this this is allowed but what's not allowed is any other data type okay so this is not allowed and you clearly see the error okay once you declare a variable to be a specific type right you can't change it we said that which means i can't assign this fruits variable to any other data type besides string array okay to fruits is equal to 12 all right not allowed okay number is not assignable to type string okay that if i say fruits is equal to this right so now it's empty can i now add these values let me try this now let me uncomment this and you see it is still not allowed okay when you're initializing it here you are setting that in future anytime i make a change to this particular collection i'm a byte to enter only the corrector data Okay. nothing else is allowed so next is mixed array the thing is when we assign data that consists of 
multiple data types, then the TypeScript compiler will have to work harder to identify the type of the variable that we assign values to it. Here, the array has values of type number as well as type string. In such cases, the TypeScript compiler looks for the most common type to infer the type of the object but does not find any super type that can encompass all the types present in the array. In such cases, the compiler treats the type as union of all types present in the array. Here the type would be, you could see, string, pipe symbol, number, and array, okay? Which means that the array can hold either string values or number values. And this is called as union type, okay? So what is allowed, what is not allowed? Very simple, you can push, okay, you can push a string value. So we can say uh, test for example, that is allowed. Same way, we can say numeric value, okay, that is also allowed. Let's see the update as well, okay. So we say next array and index. Now see, I mean this is an important thing. So at index one currently the data type is string. We can still assign a numeric value. There is no problem in that. In same way at index number one you can assign in the string value. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Right, no issues in that. What's not allowed is pretty much the same. Okay, not allowed is you can't add in right any other data type besides string and numbers. So boolean is not allowed. Is equal to ten, not allowed. Okay, then we can say dot push and true. This is not allowed. Okay. So sounds good. Now let's move on to the objects part. And this is how we define an object. Okay. Now let us hover over this object and see the hint. Now we are saying that person colon and then these two opening and curly brackets. With the help of these we define the objects and inside that we have the properties and these properties behave just like any other regular variable. So in here, name is one property, age is another. Name is of data type string. So in future, all right, you can only assign string values to this property. And same is the case with age. You can only assign now number properties to this. Okay, no other data types are allowed. What about person? Now person is again a variable. So you can only assign an object to this variable in future. Okay, and that object should meet this structure that's another thing that is important right so that object the new object that you assign to this person variable should contain and must contain name property of type string age property of type string okay third property would not be allowed okay only two properties so the structure has to match exactly to this okay let's see all that so what's allowed so you can say person dot name. You can assign what? You can assign string values. So you can do it like this allowed. Okay. Same is the case with the age property. So you can assign new numeric values, right? And you can also do person is equal to you can assign a new object. Okay. But you see if you just keep it empty, you get this error. Alright. So you can't leave it empty like array I showed you, right? So you, you, you could do it like this. Okay. But in here you can't do. So in object, it is mandatory that you follow this structure. Okay. So which means that you have to say name and again it has to be of type string only. Okay. And the next one is age, right? So the moment I do this, as you could see, right? If this thing wasn't there, right? This is what I was showing, right? So it says age is missing. Okay, so you, it's mandatory. You need to have that. 
then you say fine okay so these things are definitely allowed what's not allowed is okay let me just copy this whole thing what's not allowed is you can't assign any other data type all right so you see boolean is not assignable to type string same is the case with this age as well okay not allowed string is not assignable to type number all right then you can't add in any more property okay like that okay still not allowed do you see this thing okay this particular type which has got this extra property is not assignable to the type this okay yeah so not allowed what else is not allowed so you just you know provide in the name all right you see that and now again you see age is missing in the type so all these things are not allowed and also like you can't do it outside this okay so you, you just can't say person dot is girl okay is equal to true not allowed okay does not exist on the type so that's about type inference with object and arrays i'll see you in the next video thank you so much